I will show you the sneak preview of Tecla Structures 2018 for precast detailing and fabrication. Topics for today briefly, like Tony already mentioned, we have improvements in our platform, such as the continuous development of the user interface renewal. For modeling, we have new applications for productive wall detailing. For fabrication, we have faster and more reliable drawing and data export creation. And we are expanding the model utilization in transportation planning with the new application stacker. Then moving to the new tools that we have for precast detailing. First, I want to introduce a double wall details tool. And it is one tool to automatically optimize and create reinforcement, mesh, and the additional reinforcement, raised girders, lifters, and propping inserts. This tool makes double wall detailing very productive and, of course, is very easy to use with the modern and simplified user interface. At this point, I want to promote also a webinar that we have on April regarding the double wall, so please register to that webinar. And this tool will be available in Tecla Warehouse during this month. So let's have a look of a small video about using this tool. So first, there's three different kind of double walls with a different lengths and different heights and different widths of the double wall. And as you can see, all the details are created accordingly. Maybe I'll stop here. So you can see that for the higher double wall, it has created also a side lifters and also the amount of propping inserts is according to the wall length. And here, automatically additional reinforcements are created to these column and beam sections. And just briefly showing the user interface of this tool where you can define different kind of details regarding the double wall. But as mentioned, there will be an additional webinar. So there, this tool and our complete solution for double walls and half slabs will be covered. Next new tool is a T connector for wall layout tool. So it's easy way of adding T, -connect T connections to any kind of walls. Basically the tool gives you the possibility to split the other tool into the precast units. So creating the component with the seam or without the seam. And also you can use connection components for details. So if you want to have some details about the additional reinforcements or connectors, you can utilize the tools that we have out of the box in Tecla Warehouse or some things that you have created yourself. Again, a small video briefly explaining the tool. So first you pick the primary wall and the secondary wall will be the one kind of connecting to the side. It has a similar user interface for the corner connector that we have. And here is just going through briefly about the different settings. And here component is used to connect those walls together with the wall to wall connection. And the connecting wall will have wall groom seam detail component added to the end of the wall. So with those predefined settings, you can create walls like shown. And for double walls, again, you can choose to split the walls. Here is an example without any details. And here is example of a detailing component used to have the additional reinforcement for the casting place section of the wall. Next new tool that we introduce is propping inserts tool. It will add propping inserts and supports to walls. So you can use as a propping detail any, any custom part or component you have created. 
and then you can define a rule that based on the wall length you will create these propping inserts and it automatically avoids opening and respe respects the minimum distances to openings and edges. And this is the tool that is being used as a subcomponent of the double wall details tool also. And again, this makes wall detailing even faster and will be found from Tecla Warehouse. Small video explaining the tool a bit. You either download from warehouse or create your own propping insert detail and set it up to be used by the tool and pick the walls as an input. You can define manually also the amount of the lifters and as you can see it automatically avoids the openings so that the so that the propping inserts are not created kind of in the middle of the opening. You can change side of the propping inserts and what is really nice that we have direct modification for fast editing. If you are not happy with the locations created used by the tool you can do it manually. But then you have the propping inserts as a bill of material of the cast unit and shown in the drawings and if you're using the tool to create also the braces you can get the quantities of the needed braces in your project to plan your erection properly. Then going to drawing improvements. There's a couple of very nice features to come up with cleaner looking drawings faster and also manage the drawing content and review the drawing content in a better way. So let's take a look of this precast beam example. There is rebars inside of that beam and also cast unit drawing has been created, but it has been created with the previous version of the constructors. You can see that there's different views. There's a 3D view of the rebars and then there's the front view with the marks and also the section view with the marks. Let's take a look of the new arranging algorithm. So this would be the result with the kind of new placement. As you can see, it's much better in that way that the lines are not crossing each other. But if I want to kind of fine tune, I can start tracking some of the marks to a location where I would like to have them. And again, rearranging and then aligning. So with those two commands and kind of pressing those, it tries to find the most optimized way of representing those marks and also doing it in a way that the leader lines are not crossing each other. Same thing now for the other side. First arranging and then aligning. And quite fast, I get very clear looking drawing with the reinforcement marks. And also the drawing content manager ensures that I have all the needed content marked in the drawing. Then last, but definitely not the least, we have a new stacker application. This application is for planning delivery stacks and it helps you to plan the truck load according to your erection plan, then showing the optimized process. So here you have Tecla Structures model. There we can identify the precast products. And also you can utilize, for example, the fabrication statuses to see which ones are in storage. You may have used the model to set, come up with the erection or delivery dates for the products and those products might be fabricated by different factories. So selecting the ones in that factory. Once those select, uh, objects have been selected, you import those to the stacker application. In stacker, you can see the imported elements and you can add multiple stacks to deliver those. <laughs> 